Hey guys, what's happening? So, another issue with this dishwasher. So, I made a couple other videos with this dishwasher. One, I had a wooden power on, so I had to fix the power switch. And another one, this thing was clogged up, but uh, now I'm getting no power. So, zero lights. I've already checked the outlet. There's definitely power there. Um, so I'm going to troubleshoot this thing and check the power up, going up. And in the last video, I, I troubleshooted the control board, the circuit board, and fixed the, the switch. But, um, yeah, these things are really basic. They're not really, I mean, really, we're talking basic circuits here. So hopefully I can fix this. But, um, yeah, so I need to get the cover off. Yeah, a couple screws. This actually, it seems like it stopped mid-cycle. Um, see, there's water at the bottom. So, um, yeah, a couple screws, take those off. And hopefully I can get this thing working again. So, all right, so if you didn't see my last video, that's where the power comes right there. And that black wire feeds back up into this thing right here. And it feeds right into that fuse right there. So, obviously the first thing I do is check the fuse. And then from the fuse, it goes back off into this wire and splits. One side splits to the door switch, and the other side goes back into the control board, feeds power to the control board. So, um, the fact that I'm getting zero lights means I'm thinking either it's a bad fuse or a bad control board. So, take a look. All right, so I have my multimeter in continuity mode. So this is gonna be hard to do this on camera. I already tested it, but I'm not getting continuity on the fuse here. So if I'm not getting continuity, that means the fuse is blowing, that little white thing right there. So if I'm not getting continuity, this thing's not getting power. So the fuse is burnt out. And I mean, that's not, I'm gonna double look, I'm gonna check this board, double check, make sure there's no burnt components, but um, because I said there could be a problem on the board, which is then causing the, uh, or even the motor, that is uh, causing the uh, fuse to burn out here, but I'm going to take this off and I'm going to see if I can find something online. It looks like I can just pop it out. It might or might not be soldered on the board. We'll see. All right, so here is a closer look at the fuse. And it's actually the fuse is that little black thing right there. I don't, I don't see any other fuse element inside the plastic thing there, but this doesn't look like it's something you'd probably find locally, but uh, I'm going to look around. Like I said, there's no guarantees because I don't really know. Like I said, there could be a bad component or a stuck motor or something that actually burnt the fuse out to begin with. So it could be a relay, cap, IC, whatever. Short on the board, could be anything. All right, so I ordered this last night. This is a new fuse on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. Now, the fact that this thing cost 10 bucks makes me really want to figure out what actually happened. Like, why did this thing actually pop? I mean, it could just pop from age, but because there's actually water in the bottom, you know, and it's not it's not a complete cycle, uh, I want to check the pump and make sure it's not stuck. Because if I replace this fuse and I didn't fix the problem or what caused the actual fuse to blow, then this thing is just going to be popping $10 fuses. So, I mean, it's going to take me a couple minutes. I'll check all that stuff, make sure nothing's blocked. And then I'll go ahead and replace the fuse. I might have wasted my time, but the pump is free. And then stuck in there. You can see that it's spinning that around there. All right, so you put, before you put this back together, check the fuse. I'll try to do this one-handed. Continuity. That's the old fuse. No continuity. Bad fuse. Good fuse. Bad fuse. Alright, fuse it back in. I'm going to put the power. And before I put it back together, I want to make sure it works. Awesome. See the power light. So I'm going to probably put this back together and uh, run a cycle and see if it works. Alright, let's try this. Alright, cool. Back in business. Yeah, with a couple tools and uh, some basic troubleshooting skills, and never call repairman again. All right, awesome.